I am so excited to have Sweta here. She is an incredible jewelry designer. I mean, I can't wait for you to see her pieces. You probably have already seen at least five in the intro to this video, um, but look at these guys. So you were raised in a gemstone family. I was. And yeah. how many generations? Um, are actually, you? I'm only the second generation. Really? Because yeah. usually these jewelry families are like no. third, fourth, fifth generation. I'm the second generation, and I'm the first generation jeweler per se. My father is. Um, He's the one who started the business in the family, but he did mostly emeralds. And then we now we do all sorts of colored gemstones. We cut them, we manufacture them in um, India, in Jaipur, up north. Wow. But um, no, I, I think as a jeweler, a person making jewelry, that's, that's first generation. Right. Well, how much of your Indian culture influences your jewelry pieces would you say does it mm, I would say not so much for in my case um, except the part where it comes to colors Indians are very colorful mm -hmm. and so you know the play of colors on my jewelry that definitely is an influence of uh, you know being raised in India especially mm -hmm. Mumbai which is you know colors galore for me it's more based on architecture and my travels so I'm pretty much inspired by, you know, all, all places in the world. So tell me about these earrings that you're wearing. These are uh, pink tourmalines. These are one of a kind. Um, I do a lot of one of a kind pieces um, based on the gemstones that I can find. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes um, if I have an inspiration about a certain um, design that I want to execute, we'll cut the gemstone based off that. Okay. But uh, what you're wearing is also one of a kind. Um, the earrings are one of a kind. Yes. Um, the ring in your hand, that's more of my collection pieces. That's from the rock and roll collection. I can see why you call this rock and roll. <laughs> this is so, yeah. so cool. So um, do you cut your stones to fit this, okay, this design? Yeah. It's very cool. It's we almost do. Art Deco-ish looking to it me. It is. I'm very inspired by Art Deco and architecture. So that's a combination of both. That's so yeah. pretty. There is a part of the collection that is smaller and a little bit more dainty, but that's a small part of the collection. Yeah. But in general, my collection would be more big, bold, definitely more vivacious. Yes. Yeah. Do you think that your pieces are more vivacious because you're vivacious? <laughs> I would like to think so. I'd like to think that I reflect something of myself in the pieces. Yes. You know? Well, That's can I just tell a little secret about Sweta? She's a poker player. <laughs> <laughs> That's no joke. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, well, too late for that. <laughs> no, no, I can edit. I can edit. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Any um, girl that plays poker until the wee hours of the evening <laughs> is a smidge vivacious. <laughs> that is true. And I, she has the jewels to prove it, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you play poker. I think it's really, I think it says a lot about your personality. And I mean, I, I think... It's I'll, a little bit fun and challenge both, you know, especially hanging on a boy's table and playing. Yeah. That's awesome. And whooping them, by the way, I'm sure well, you sometimes have. Sometimes I get to do that, <laughs> which is an added bonus. Yes. <laughs> Besides sure. winning the money. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what has been your greatest challenge as a jewelry designer? I think for me, it's been a little bit hard to educate people about the colored gemstones and why a certain piece or a certain stone is of the value that it is. Um, you know, I take it for granted that I know it, but mm -hmm. um, people know about diamonds because the information is out there. I think there needs to be more color stone information out there and people need to understand why certain stones are more expensive, you know, based on their limited availability and how sometimes difficult it is to cut them mm -hmm. and they can be fragile and they can be, um, you know, hard to repeat something in a certain color the materials can be very different each time yeah mm -hmm. so things like that you know that's been the biggest challenge okay tell me about your design process when it comes to one of a kinds which is what mm -hmm. i've been doing a lot more of these days i think that's a lot of fun for me because i get to be creative every day then 
you know and um, each piece is inspired usually either by my travels um some sort of architecture but a lot of times it's inspired by the stone itself mm -hmm. so that is important to me you know to make sure that the stone is always shown in the best possible way and the piece never the design never overpowers the stone right well is there anything else you want to tell me before we wrap up our our little combo no i'm just that you know glad for this opportunity and mm -hmm. i wish you all the best with your channel thank you this, just, this is a long time in the works and this should have been done <laughs> a long time back so oh, thank congratulations you. thank you yeah, well it's amazing to have you on my channel thank and thank you thank so you. much for coming um, thank Aww. you